good evening, finally. I'm rather late tonight. Supper didn't happen as quick as I needed it to to eat before, and I went ahead and ate. <laughs> so, yeah, now I'm running late. How is everybody? Happy Wednesday. And happy fall, officially. I guess that was a couple days ago, but... Anyway, we are still having wonderful, wonderful weather. Going to have wonderful weather for a while. I have started this braid that I'm going to be working on. Um, past two days or ever since after Sunday. Um, basically, Monday I did a ton of plying. And do you know, I put that yarn away, but... I ended up, the brown Shetland that I was spinning that had the great big Ara bobbins completely full, um, I ended up 20 yards short of 500 yards. So I got a lot of wool out of that brown Shetland. Welcome, welcome, Knots and Stitches. Good evening to you and Mass Bandit. Hello, hi. I am doing good. Thank you for asking. I hope you're both well. So I, I was plying, um, and then on a Monday and Tuesday, and then today, you know, I made the skeins, right, counted it off, and I had a, a gray um, that, that is kind of junky, it was combing waste, so I made that into a two-ply, but I'm not real sure what I'm going to use it for. It's dinner time. I've had my dinner. We had warmed up spaghetti. Cheers. It tastes good because I got fresh water and I put ice in it and it's tasty tonight. So I get to start a new project and that's what I wrote in the uh, thing that I'm starting a new braid. Look at this color. Is this just not gorgeous? All those fall hints, browns and greens, but then your pops of the reds and orange. I love this color. Um, I am going to spin all of this onto an Ara bobbin, and then I have a brown that I am going to spin with this. Uh, you know, ply with this. I'm going to spin the brown and ply with it, and. It is also put away. I cleaned up my room a little bit. You can't see the bed uh, a whole lot. But I did get a fair amount off the bed. Um, one of the things you see over here, here, here. <laughs> it's so hard to work on a camera. <laughs> it, you know, old-fashioned discs. And I have two old laptops. And I have the, I, those discs have photos burned on them, and I am desperately trying to find something that will uh, read those discs and get the photos off of it, you know, because they have photos that were done a long time ago, and the computers have changed. Um, this particular computer does not even have a disk drive, all right? Uh, my older computer... That hubby uses has one but it did not read the ones that have the photo on it I have tried um, that I have tried um, my mom's old laptop it didn't read them so I don't know I do have stuck away the original the computer they were probably burned on right never got rid of it because you know it's hard to dispose of a computer not sure I have it cleaned up, blah, 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 right? It's just stuck away. And uh, Windows Media Player won't find, thank you, Knots, it won't find the um, disk. So that was, that was on the uh, laptop of my mom's and on my hu hubby's uh, computer. And I've tried several. I've tried commercial that has the game on it to see if it would read that. And I've tried my ones that I burned. Um, I have a, a newer 
laptop. It's still old, but I have a newer one. I'm going to try it now, too. Anyway, that's the project that's going on over there, right? It's just in progress, and I didn't put it away. When I'm not spinning, I do a few other things. Yes, my daughter has a mass banded. That's my daughter has suggested uh, the same thing an external drive. Oh, you're in ads. Well, I'll talk to you in a minute then when you get back. Okay, so I just unwrapped all this, but I was spinning from one of the ends already, and it's the scent. So let me ball this up. I don't know why I undid it. I was just fiddling with it. Take it to the local Best Buy or Tech and ask for help? Yeah. Possibly. I mean, the old game ones, they're nostalgic. I would like to play them, but I am more than happy that... And... I... Since I don't know what's on the photo ones I didn't label and say this is a, this date or anything like that I may have them you're right I may already have them um, I got them on the computer that's tucked away which then I got off of there and put on the computer that hubby's using you know what I'm saying I may have transferred them already but I'm not 100% sure I thought it would be just an easy thing to pop them in there and find out what was on there and if I wanted to keep them and blah 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 and you know it didn't turn out not to be easy <laughs> okay let me how's the music I feel like I'm yelling but I've got the music down pretty far let me go to the spinning wheel camera there we go this is what it looks like spun up it is. It's just such a lovely golden fall feeling. I, I am in love with this fiber. This fiber was done, it's Blue Face Luster, and it's called Harvest, Golden Harvest. And it was done by Wild Hair, hand dyed fibers and yarn. Wild Hair. Do not know if Wild Hair Fiber com is still a legit but it was four ounces for twenty dollars blue face luster 100 percent wonderful feel to it oh it's so soft you're back okay what i was saying mass bandit is um i have thought of that um portable uh media um uh, portable um external drive I have several but the ones I have were just backing up old computers and they don't read on anybody else's now I, it doesn't connect with any of my other computers um, <laughs> I hate tech I'm I hate tech um, so I might try a new but the what I have discovered in the past with DVD players you you know cop you um, copy something on a DVD player and it's fine playing it on the one that burned the DVD but it won't play in anything else these are CD discs but I think I'm not real sure what they are let me look I'm not sure I can tell You know, I can't tell because I put a label on them, but I'm almost positive they're CDs. And um, I have run into that with the same thing. Uh, it likes to be on what burned it, right? And nothing else. So, ooh, that's a good question. I would think I did. I mean, It's pretty much hard to fix after this late, I think. Maybe even take the photo disc to Walmart Photo Center and have prints made. Uh, okay, they're probably going to laugh at me if they get um, 
stick it in there and it doesn't do anything, right? They're going to say there's nothing on it. <laughs> this doesn't work. And then they'll laugh more if they get uh, 500 pictures of fiber. <laughs> because if they didn't get to finalize, the other players would have trouble reading them. Worth a try. Okay. Huh. Okay. In that case, it's kind of a lost cause unless I can get it into a... I, I'm not even sure that I can do anything about that. I, I am very familiar with the concept of finalizing stuff. Um, you know, when I was burning CDs all the time, um, I knew the whole process, right? I would think that I did. But, who knows? Okay, this is spinning weird. Why are you spinning weird? Let me turn you up a little bit. I also don't have my feet right here. There. There we go. Yeah, this, right, the, this, I just started this last, uh, yesterday, this whole process. I, you know, I am trying so hard to clean out, sort, organize the, this house, which is full of 32 years of stuff. Speaking of houses, I saw my daughter's new house. It's not new, new. I mean, it's new to her. Today, I got to visit. It's a um, relatively new house. Um, built in 2016. Brick house. And it's two-story. And it's really big. <laughs> um... You know, basement, first floor, second floor, and attic. I mean, she's got so much room. But then she is got an extended family. She's part of an extended family. So there is uh, at least four people uh, who bought the house together. She's just one of four. So... <laughs> They needed the room. Everybody gets their space. So I was, that was nice. She took me today. I, By the way, I can see. Um, because I had my eyes dilated today. She took me. She drove right. And it wore off about, oh, I would say quarter or five, somewhere in there. I was like, oh, okay. And my vision's back. Which is good. I'm pretty sure I could spun, I have spun, you know, log on and spin. I'm pretty sure I could have done it anyway, but I'm glad that that has, my eyes have gone back to normal. Um, I got the cataracts measured. The surgery is all set up. October 26th is the first one, so I got a, a little wait to go here, but everything's progressing. For that to happen. Sand shrew. Oh, it's a sand slash. It's massive. Yeah, it's a massive house. If that's what you're talking about. We don't, in this house, here it's a, it's a farmhouse that got a couple rooms built onto it, but we do not have a basement. We have a little cellar space that is not usable um, and we have um, attic that is not really accessible right we it's not usable it's fine for us but their house is chaotic right now they're 
they're moving things in uh, from multiple locations and so it's just like nothing's organized yet <laughs> but it was good to see her we went to lunch we had the mother-daughter thing and that was really nice because it's been a while she's very busy with work so that was really nice yay miss Manda got it sand slash job interview for computer program job on Friday you're ner well good luck to you I know that this is what the direction you're heading and wanting that would be so awesome well. Hubby and I are, oh, we'll have to talk about that. Um, Hubby and I are going for a little getaway, and it's going to be on Sunday, which is my normal streaming time, Sunday afternoon. So, I have to decide where to stream. I think I'll do it Saturday afternoon. To be really honest with you, I like the afternoon time, and I might be able to catch people who normally are working. I don't want to do it during the day. So it's either Friday evening or Saturday afternoon. We're going up to Cincinnati. spend in one night we had um, reward points from Best Western that we needed to use before they expired in November so we just we set it up for this time of year we set it up now went ahead and used them Going to the yarn shop, maybe, maybe, maybe it's in. It's across the river. It's on the Kentucky side. Cincinnati's in Ohio. You know, I, I feel, I'm conflicted because I really don't like going, and not buying anything. I mean, I just. So yeah. You know, I'll go maybe buy some sock yarn or something like that. Or maybe they'll have some fiber. It's really a question of if uh, what time we leave on Sunday. Uh, we're going a roundabout way. <laughs> we're going to Indiana to go to Cincinnati, Ohio, which I know. I know, but uh, there is a casino boat that um, gives out gifts, and hubby really wants the gift that they're giving out on that Sunday. And he's not going to gamble or stay or anything, but he wants to run by and get the gift, which which they, I mean, you can do that. They'll give it to you, but uh, that's going to put. <laughs> like an extra two hours drive 
uh, I do, this is what I do for him, you know, he, he doesn't ask for much. So it kind of depends on when we get up there Sunday, whether we, I, I um, can catch them open or they're, they're not open on Mondays. Which may solve my, you know, my problem. I may not be able to get there. <laughs> yeah. If it's been like the weather's been, it's going to be a wonderful time to take a road trip. It's going to be beautiful. The colors are just starting to come out a little bit. Have to keep them happy. <laughs> You're almost peak. I would expect that, Mass Bandit. Um, I, you probably have had colder temps, too. This weekend is supposed to hit almost 90. I mean, it's going to be a while before we get that cold weather. I'm fine with that, but uh, it means a later fall. The reason it's the things are turning, unfortunately, is because it's so dry. I mean, I have not... I don't remember... A year when we have gone so long without rain it's um, it's been a, a long long time since we've had a super dry spell like this I think we're going on six weeks or something like that since rain I don't really know but it's been quite a while and that, that just makes the leaves turn yellow and then brown instead of the pretty colors if you get a frost. You've been down in the 30s already several nights. Yeah, that's that's what that's what makes the pretty colors. Tomorrow I have to go to the dentist. Got a cleaning. Been running. Been a lot of errands lately. They kind of come in bunches. You wish there had been a place to pull off and get pictures. There are some really nice views on your way to your doctor appointments. Oh, that sounds lovely. I have, um, when I was working, I would go through a section that was really wooded. And of course, you know, the seasons were always something different the spring with the buds coming out and then uh, the fall with the colors and, and the time that was the most beautiful um, and I was able to pull to a side road and, and take some pictures was when um, we would have ice storms and you know there was ice on the trees and the sun was out and it was just sparkling like diamonds it's always so pretty I have a number of photos like that. I 
it's highway though and no good safe place to stop. Yeah. This is country road. Although I wouldn't stop on the road. I pulled off to a side road. But it didn't matter because it was the same wooded area. I have a, a lot of pictures around our place too, you know, when we get those ice storms. The grape arbor and and uh, some of the trees. working on cross stitch tonight I was I was talking to my eye doctor uh, when I get the cataracts out they're gonna put new lenses in and she was you know they they have the standard that insurance pays for but you can get extra where you don't have to wear glasses at all and I told her I said I hardly ever wear my glasses right um, sometimes driving at night I like to have the glasses. I feel like they help because there's not as much light, and that's a cataract thing. That's not, you know, uh, I don't think that's my lens thing, but anyway, I told her just to go with the standard one, you know, and, and she said, well, what do you do when she was trying to figure out if I needed more than just the standard? And I, what do you do? Well, let's see, you know, I, I drive, and I sit and do a lot of uh, needlework. I didn't talk about the spinning. I just said needlework that's right here. I'm on the computer a lot, you know, and <laughs> she said, well, we'll fix it for your driving. The standard one does the distance. It's amazing, isn't it? It's amazing, I'll tell you. You finished the oh did you you got your butterflies all done yeah yeah yes but not diligently <laughs> yeah I have I'm I'm scratching my hand I have so many mosquito bites uh, they just eat me up when I go outside I get so frustrated because I can't enjoy being outside unless I spray stuff on me which I do but don't like to ooh what do we got here Corvus Squire huh Oh, okay. Thank you. Is um, <coughs> is it going in like a frame? Have you put it in uh, anything? Let's see here. Where's my Discord? Is it still open? No, it's not still open. I need to open it. Oh, that's so pretty. I mean, it looks it the edges look like you uh they're just folded under or something. That is so pretty. I love all those butterflies and hearts. 
heart to heart, soul to soul. That is really pretty. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> You'll probably get a double mat. Yeah, and you're having a friend. Okay. Yeah. Wee! Got it. Um, for, you know, for that kind of stuff, the finishing. Um, sometimes I really like doing that, and sometimes I just, like, oh, I wish I didn't have to do that. pretty sure that's why I like spinning because all I have to do is wash the yarn and it's done. <laughs> but that is such a thoughtful gift. I've been thinking about a housewarming gift for my daughter's new house. Haven't quite figured out what that's going to be yet. I mean, I asked her today, but the thing is, they're moving stuff in. I said, you know, she said, I, I don't know right now anything specific. <laughs> she said, except um, I have so many bathrooms. She said, and I have one potty brush. <laughs> she said, I gotta carry a potty brush all over. I said, Well, you gotta fix that. <laughs> Don't have to do that. Don't hear any music at all now. Just cropped the picture. Oh, that's why it looks that way. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Face Lester is such a nice wool. It isn't quite as soft as merino, but it's so soft and it, it has more body to it um, than merino. It's just a little bit, you know, when you say the fibers are a certain fineness, merino is finer, but this little bit thicker adds some. I don't know, it just adds something to the 
favor. That and Polwars are my two favorite fibers to spin. Oh, is it? <laughs> it is. Um, I know. It's. I. I have had that problem sometimes. If I'm not streaming, because when I'm streaming, I'm thinking about talking and you know, pretty much staying awake. It's a kind of a noisy wheel. Um, not obnoxious, but. It's not quiet by any means. You know, I found one time where to set the frequency of ads. I cannot find that again. I think it's in... I don't know where, where I found it. And I cannot find it again. It seems to hit every 15 minutes or so. I can't remember if that was the maximum time or not. You know what I'm saying is I, I seem to remember thinking oh well I want to set at the longest amount of time I can before the, the ads come on but 15 minutes doesn't seem like that is very long maybe it's 30 minutes it, it, it probably could be 30 minutes I was talking about one time I found a place that showed where you could set the frequency of when the ads run. And I have watched streamers who they know the ads are coming. I don't even know how they know the ads are coming. Maybe they don't use stream um, Streamlabs like I do. You know, maybe they're using other software uh, like Twitch and it shows you. There's an ad manager on Streamlabs or Twitch. That's what I, that I know I found it once. But I haven't been on an hour, so I can't have it set for an hour. I can't change this while I'm streaming. However, I at least like to look and find it.
doesn't seem to be in any of this. Looking at the dashboard right now. Finding it. At the moment. Yeah, I didn't like most things. I don't know. There either. Yeah, I'm using Streamlabs. I would think it would be under the settings for Streamlabs. Maybe it won't show up if I'm live. Oh, what is that? That's... <laughs> Let me see if I catch that. Oh, did I do it wrong? Okay. Is it... Probably get away because I don't have, I just used a regular bowl. Oh well. Yep. It escaped.
course, I could Google the. I could uh, ask a question. Usually, that takes you right to where. It's usually pretty good getting information on um, Streamlabs. Setting ad frequency. Let's see. You got nada? Using the ad manager setting page to set your preferred ad spacing length. Is this? No, that is not clickable. Ads manager. It's on Twitch, it's not on Streamlabs. Creator Dashboard Settings Partner Affiliate Ads Manager. Okay. All right. Creator Dashboard. Creator Dashboard. I think I have to be on the web. Streamlabs.com. Well, that's just Streamlabs. That's not, that doesn't help. Settings. It's funny that the dashboard just goes to sell it. Streamlabs. Hmm. Oh, 
Oh, wow. You get 55% of ad revenue if you set up your ads manager to three minutes per hour. Okay. I just got it. Okay. There it is. I just got it. How long would you like your ad breaks to be? 1 minute 30 seconds. Start delay. Oh, well, I have the, I can fix that right now. I have the add notification off. So, here we go. All right. Sorry about that. This is three minutes per hour. Okay, I got that. I got that. Pre-roll ads for incoming viewers. I disabled that. Okay. Give me the... Uh, ah! Five minutes before ad start, I can get a notification. Add notification in chat. Alright. All right, your ad schedule timeline. It ad break during stream with adjustable heads up time. Active stream time. Ad breaks during the stream. All right. I just gave myself 15 minutes and then between 15 minutes and 45 minutes. Okay, it'll do an ad at mid-roll ads at 15. All right, my AI things are usually two hours. What's pre-roll ads? I found the manager. I'm working on it here, but what I don't understand is three minutes per hour. Okay. Well, give me 55% revenue. Pre roll ads. Oh, it's disabled for incoming. So if somebody comes in before the first ad, they don't automatically get an ad. That's what I want. That's disabled. Okay. Upcoming ad break is going to do five minutes before. It'll show it in chat. You may get ads right away. What I have to decide is... Your schedule ads... Minutes per hour, three minutes. I want three minutes, but oh, if I do three minutes, three minutes is long. Okay, three minutes an hour. All right, that puts it 30 minutes apart. First one comes at 15 minutes. Next one comes at 45. Next one would come at hour 15, hour 45. So it's going to roll four times for me to get. It's going to roll four times during the 
and it's going to last 1 minute and 30 seconds. Save those changes. You might get ads again, unfortunately. But we'll see how that goes. At least I found it. I don't know. I got a check from Twitch. It was $30, but I think it was six months. They don't uh, send them out unless they're a certain amount. That was about a month ago. I don't think you can't skip the ads. Um, I think the coolest thing that I you should have gotten a check from Twitch this month and you didn't. I don't know. Um, I think the coolest thing I'm hoping that works is that we're going to see a notice in the chat, and I don't know if the general chat can see it or if it's just for me. But if it's just for me, I can say, okay, we have an ad coming up in five minutes. If you want to plan on getting up, go get, you know, whatever. Um, a little bit of warning helps, I think. When they just pop up while you're trying to chat or whatever, it's kind of annoying. General chat sees it. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Oh, that's so funny. The duo. <laughs> Hi, Veggie. That's what you do. What? What is it you do? You. It um, shows up, and you say, "Go get your drink." It'll probably should come up if it's going to follow the, the what I don't know if it's going to count from what was the beginning or if it's going to start from now. If it starts from now, it's not going to be the same pattern as my routine streams, but that's all right. start next stream. Well, you cannot turn ads off completely. Can you? I spend so much of my time Xing out of ads on all the games I play on my iPad. <laughs> you know, it's just 
<clears throat> it's just, oh, excuse me, the nature of it now. Okay, nicely drowsy. That's wonderful. Sleep good, stay safe, and I'll see you. Uh, maybe I'll catch you'll be able to catch me on um, Saturday afternoon if you're not working. If you're working, I understand. Oh, only if you're not affiliate. Okay. So how are you this evening, Veggie? I am spinning Blue Face Lester. It's so nice. It is called Golden Harvest, and it looks it. Isn't that pretty? Of course, this is looks darker because I don't have. I don't really have my. Let's see if I can turn my light on here. See if that makes a little bit of a difference. That makes a little bit of difference. Saturday is a busy day. Okay. Hey, <laughs> grabby hands. <laughs> I know, I know. I was talking earlier. I had lunch with my daughter. She took me to my eye doctor appointment today because they dilated my eyes and I couldn't drive. And uh, so we had, we treated ourselves to lunch and she did not get to go to the fiber fair that um, I just recently went to. So she was like, so tell me all about it, which was good for a half hour discourse. <laughs> I told her a lot. We put, we, we penciled in our calendars. There is going to be one in Indiana. Oh, it's in October, I think. Um, it's called the Southern Indiana. I call it Hoosier Hills. Um, that's what it used to be called, but Southern Indiana something. And, uh, let me see what the actual date is here. October, it's a Saturday. Yep, 21st. Um, it's in Corridon, Indiana, October 21st. So she and I are going to go to that. That's going to be fun. I am doing good. I had, like I said, I had my eyes dilated today. I hate that. Um, but uh, it's worn off now. And everything's in place for the cataract surgery. So that'll be good. That's the end of October. I'm really wanting those out. <laughs> it reset. It reset. I was afraid of that. <laughs> well, you know, 
it really didn't reset. I think this is the the time it would have come on. It it's every thirty minutes, and I'm uh well I'm at a minute seven on my timer. I don't know. Obviously, it's not. <laughs> set the way it's gonna eventually be, I don't think. Hi, Kay. I was just thinking about you. I was like, I haven't seen Kay for a while. Are you okay? Been busy? So I'm glad you're here. It's a minute, a minute and a half, and it has to run twice during an hour. So uh, it's spaced like 30 minutes apart because um, to if you run it twice an hour, then you get 55% uh, of the ad revenue, which is probably, you know, a nickel, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> we have a, we have a family saying, you know, a quarter is a quarter. <laughs> no matter where it came from. <laughs> half and half busy and missing notifications. Uh-oh. suggestion of your stream and then I stopped and looked at the time and went wait a minute <laughs> and then realized I hadn't seen the actual notification how did your phone give you a suggestion of the stream that's funny it just needs three minutes an hour for the revenue split yeah yeah it does three minutes an hour I mean does that sound like a lot to you I, I I'm you know Uh, like I say, I spend an awful lot of time watching other people's ads, so. Huh. I, so, I don't know about the Twitch notifications. I do send it out right as I'm getting on, like maybe five, ten minutes before. I actually hit the go live button because I, you know, I used to do it ahead of time, but it, it's just easier for me to remember to do it right as I'm doing everything else. Right. So, okay. Water break. The series suggestions range from actually helpful to very bizarre. <laughs> okay, so, you know, here's the scene. But, officer, Siri told me to run that light. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yes, it does, but... The overlords want to make streamers go through hoops to get the same split they used to. Oh, yeah. But Siri did it! <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I have found 
that's true of a number of things in life, right? Sometimes you got to do a little extra just to find it and do it and get it. In this case, I had an audiobook on and was focused on the crochet. Turn left into the lake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That sounds really nice, Kay. Is it a good book? I I don't have uh, I haven't listened to an audio book for a while because I got I borrow them from the library and I got tired of never finishing them and having to reborrow and then still never finishing them because I fall asleep. I don't do the it's very seldom that I can do it like when I'm sitting in the living room because hubby has the TV on. I tried headphones once. Eh, it really isn't sound blocking. Boy, this is splitting into like eight or nine pieces here. It's weird. I've been getting maybe six. <laughs> I had to turn left right then. <laughs> it kept telling me to. <laughs> Proceed to the root is the one that drives me crazy. Proceed to the root. Proceed to the root. <laughs> and do you know what's really funny? Uh, my phone I have selected a male voice, and of course my husband's phone has the female voice. I just thought that was really funny. We're so used to somebody else telling us what to do. We hit a road that hadn't been updated in GPS yet. So for a long time, it looked like we were going to go through a field in a creek. And wow, did the GPS not like that. <laughs> what did it say? <laughs> oh, look what. It, what is this? Oh, it's a cutie fly. <laughs> it's so cute. I wonder if I have an ultra ball. I probably don't have any. I'm well. I must have. You had that a few times. <laughs> oh, you're waiting for an... Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay. Veggie says, I'm waiting for an audiobook hold for a book that I'm still trying to finish. <laughs> Attempt number one, lost count. Oh... You've had that happen, she says. Kay says. I'm either really good at finishing it or really bad. Yeah, yeah. But I, you know, I just, I absolutely need to do it when I'm doing something like in here or whatever. Because if I turn one on when I'm laying in bed, I, I, I go right to sleep. Probably because of his vision, you know, he is not a reader. He can't read. But I have tried and tried and tried to get him to do audiobooks. And he just, I don't know, he just has no interest. Yay, I caught it and some veggie. Do we have to split it in half? Oh no. <laughs> That's nice that it does too. Oh, there's more than one. I'm sorry, Kay. Oh, you didn't have a great ball. You better go take a look. It took your poke catch. I don't know if it will let you try and catch it twice.
that might be why you got that message because I don't think it took your regular poke catch, so I don't think it lets you change to another ball. Okay. Doggito. I met a sweet dog. Older, full grown bulldog. Female. Her name is Angel. So sweet. So laid back. It's just like, hi. I'm just gonna sit here and look at you. <laughs> don't make me get up. Oh no, don't go to that other room. Then I have to get up and go with you. <laughs> Let's just sit here in the living room. <laughs> My daughter says she t Angel drapes herself all over anybody that's on the couch. <laughs> One of her, one of my daughter's housemates, dog. You had an altar ball. I could have used that. Okay. <laughs> Next time, gadget. Yeah, <laughs> she is a sweetie. brown that I'm going to apply this with. This braid is four ounces and I got, I think it's a brown pole worth. I'm going to make a single and apply it with. I applied uh, Monday and Tuesday and I had spun uh, top that was a brown Shetland over the last couple streams and I applied that uh, Monday or Tuesday I don't remember what but I stained it off today I was 20 yards short of 500 yards I mean I was really happy with what I got um, I don't know to be honest with you I don't have any project in mind and I have started since I did the the uh, fiber fair and I'm thinking about doing next year's I have started looking at what I'm making with the idea that I may sell it instead of keeping it you know so I figure that amount bigger amount of yardage would be very sellable people like to have enough to work with to do something Which is the big problem with having just four ounces of fiber. This is unusual. The reason I'm spinning this, I have this and another skein that I only had four ounces of. Um, a couple years ago, I started buying eight ounces only. Then I can get those larger amounts, but four ounces I don't really get enough to do anything but. Pretty scarf or 
maybe socks. I might try making a pair of shorty socks. If I get enough, if I get, if I get two, 250 yards. I should be able to do that. Oops, that's not doing well. Well, that wasn't a good joint. Okay, are you having a good fall? Are you having pretty weather? Um, pretty colors? Mass Bandit and I were talking about that earlier. Um... Ours hasn't really turned yet. We are still very warm. So the only reason it's turning is we are in a severe drought. So they are turning yellow from dryness. But um, the fall colors, the true fall colors haven't come in, come in yet. Starting to a little, yeah. Oh, shoot. I just remembered something I was going to do and I forgot to do. I got flowers on my back step I was going to water. Two pots of flowers. I forgot to do that. I can do that tonight. If I remember. There's a handful of trees that always turn early, but other than that, not quite. Yeah, we get undergrowth that's red. Um, but a lot of times that's sumac or um, poison ivy, poison oak. Um, but when we drive through wooded areas, you see under cover that's turning red. talking early in the stream my daughter uh, over Labor Day moved into the house that she bought along with uh, three other well two other housemate families um, and I got to see it today for the first time I hadn't seen her house yet now she's not entirely moved in this is a process and everything's chaotic but what was really sweet I don't remember when the house actually closed but they looked at it in the summertime you know so it was a, a period of time with the uh, application for the mortgage and all of that you know until it finally closed so the people who sold it to them there's a small um, garden like a little raised bed garden in the backyard they planted tomato plants and so when my daughter moved in she had ripe tomatoes on her tomato vine waiting for her. I just I thought that is really really cool somebody thinking about the next person buying the house planting tomatoes for them isn't that cool <laughs> somebody buys my house they're gonna be lucky I get all the fiber out of it <laughs> uh, I really dread the thought of moving everyone it's gonna happen but sometime don't know when
Man Spencer said. Was it her? Yeah, yeah, it was her. Said that the sound of my uh, spinning wheel was putting her to sleep. <laughs> I don't know, it's kind of noisy tonight. The fiber is a bonus buy. <laughs> yeah, right. It's just finding the right person, right? Uh, yeah. Oh, and let's not forget, you know. Oh, by the way, there are two porch cats. <laughs> I have um, talked a lot about Twitch. Twitch is a little gray girl kitty. And she's a lap kitty, right? You go out there, she's in your lap, right? Right there. And just what's petted and loved on. And she's this. But Twitch had a litter mate who has always been back in the uh, hanging out, but and, and will now come and eat twice a day. I feed him. It's a boy. Um, he's not neutered because I haven't tried to catch him and do any of that yet. I'm not sure I will. Um, and he's a big yellow, big yellow, oh, not even dark yellow. He's more like a cream yellow, right? Really pretty cat. Long legged. He's skinny, but not like starving skinny. He's just growing and active and all, you know, that sort of thing. And he has made friends with us, but he won't get in your lap. And. The thing we've always said about Twitch is she's a talker. She just meow, 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 meow. She stands outside the porch door like meow, 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 meow. Come feed me. Come out. I'm lonely. Come talk to me. Meow, 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 meow. She just talks. If she's not sleeping, then she wants attention. She's talking. Well, I went out tonight. And I fed them both. And they scarfed down their food like, you know, it's a race. And then they each check each other's bowl and lick it a little. Like, oh, look, you missed this one. You know, you hear, you missed this. They, they each have to check each other's bowl and lick it. And then, usually Twitch will come and sit in my lap. And I have named the yellow cat Ghost. And Ghost comes over down. I'll just dangle my hand. And. He just comes and rubs against me, and I scratch his ears and everything, you know. Tonight, he started talking. And he is not like Twitch, where it's meow, meow, meow. He's like, meow, meow, meow. I mean, he's like he's talking under his breath, you know. But he won't shut up. He just was like going on and on and on. And he went over and he sat there and he, meow, 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 meow. You know, and then where he generally stays is directly across our front yard, which isn't far, which is this cornfield. There is big old corn growing there, and he goes over there and goes into the cornfield. And that's where he's usually staying during the day. And after a while, he just got down off the step, and he's walking across the yard, and all the way over the cornfield, I can hear him. I was like, what is it with this cat? It's almost like, darn, I wish she'd get a different kind of food. <laughs> grumbles, right? Kitty grumbles. <laughs> oh, goodness. Cats are something else sometimes. Now, these two cats do not get along with Newman. Poor Newman has been housebound for a long time now. He just don't go out because they're bound to meet up and things, fur flies. Let me just say fur flies. <laughs> Dog tried to play with a bunny. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, says, I will give you all my thoughts on everything, human. <laughs> We're talking about my one cat and muttering under his breath as he stalks off after I've fed him. Like, you know, can't they get something better? <laughs> it's canned food every night. 
Oh, gosh. Oh, I bet that bunny didn't appreciate that. I agree. I agree. That is a problem here. My, that, every once in a while, the little, they, the bunnies have to be really little babies. But they, every once in a while they get one, and I'm just like, mm, why'd you have to do that? Then, worse is if they ever catch a bird, usually, I mean, they just don't have a chance to catch them, right? Birds are just gone. But, every once in a while they do. Can't stop that hunting. But your dog wanted to play, right? Come on. Let's play bounce bounce. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I am taking a break anyway, so let's do some stretching. I should try and get a picture of the bulldog. Bulldog named Angel. It is such a funny name for a bulldog. <laughs> I need to get a picture for my daughter. Tell her I want I want a picture of my grand dog. Oh, speaking of grandchild, um, of course, my grandson has a room at this new house, and what they did to the walls is really fantastic. Uh, paint job. Um, it's sectioned in pattern uh, hexagons kind of thing, splashed with all sorts of colors that really complement each other all over the one wall. It's really pretty. I was like, this is so cool. I didn't get to see my grandson today when I was over there because he was in school. It's still school. He was play punchish, which normally he doesn't care about puns. <laughs> yeah, and my daughter was telling me that the really big thing is, and oh man, I remember this so much when I was his age, maybe a little bit younger. I mean, it was such a big thing for me to take off and walk all by myself up to the small store that was in the center of town. It was right by the post office, so, you know, I would get the mail, and I was always allowed to go in there and get a popsicle or, you know, some treat. And now my grandson can take um, a tin can that he's you know, been saving all these, uh, this change that he gets periodically or whatever, he takes that and he goes up to a Thornton's, which is <clears throat> just a couple blocks up from their new house. So, you know, he's like, that is just the best thing ever. It is a neighborhood. I know there's a, the Thorntons is on a main road, but their house is back a couple blocks in a nice neighbor in a neighborhood of houses, right? So he's walking on sidewalk in the neighborhood. I don't know. You know, it's it's so hard to feel like kids are safe these days. I didn't say anything. I'm not gonna say anything. 
but he never had that opportunity in the house they were living in. There wasn't anything nearby at all. So that's it. It's a good thing. Oh, I see. Veggie, I missed that. Most of your bunnies ran off. This one didn't seem to care. It was more about dinner than anything else. Like, you know, this is a really good patch of clover. Um, you all just... Excuse me, but... I got three leaves to crunch here. When my um, when I was raising angoras, um, of course, they got rabbit food, rabbit pellets, but they need the roughage to and they need to chew and so I uh, would get a bale of hay from one of the local farmers and uh, feed them. One, you know, usually I'd, I could get a bale of alfalfa. It was, it was, you know, they don't raise alfalfa the way they used to, but it was a little hard to find, but I'd find a bale of alfalfa and they'd get, they'd get that. But every once in a while, I'd just pick a whole bunch of, and I'm talking a whole bunch because, yeah, I had 30 rabbits. I'd pick a whole bunch of the bigger three leaf clover things that grow. We have so many of them around here. And they were so funny to watch eat. I mean, the the stem would be like spaghetti going in there. Miles just like. This is needing a little more pulling. I seem to be trying to push it in. Don't need to be pushing it in. Oh my gosh, I'm not on Twitch. I was going to look. That is a game I haven't seen for a long time. Party Animals. I tried playing that once. I 
help though if I'm gonna try and I'm gonna do one more batch and that should be it looks like I'm more than halfway through the brain. So I will be back on a Saturday instead of Sunday because Sunday we are going up to Cincinnati spending the I mean Sunday I normally stream Sunday and on that Sunday we're going to Cincinnati so we'll stream Saturday afternoon I think if I stick with what I do on Sunday it'd be three to five I probably will be like a lullaby. I don't get it. <laughs> I guess you don't have to get it. I must be getting tired. My single's getting thicker. Not treadling as fast. Pull it out quicker, thinner. <laughs> All right. I got too thin. And that's too thick. What's up here?
Not your night. No. <laughs>
Well, at least my internet seems to be behaving well, again. I was having so much trouble last week. Sorry, this green that there is so much of in here reminds me of the 1950s avocado green appliances, dish or um, stoves and refrigerators. <laughs> Maybe it was the 70s, not the 50s. I think it was the 70s. We go, we, we do the um, auction thing, you know, where online they list all this stuff and you go to the house to pick it up and, and you go through the kitchen and sometimes the kitchens are like that, just like super 70s. It's, it's a, you know, an older person who's... Uh, breaking up housekeeping. <laughs> Hubby's been quite happy because there's been auctions and I just, I'm not buying right now. I haven't run across anything I just had to have, so he's kind of like, well that's good. <laughs> and I was like, eh, it's no fun. You know, I was plying on this, like I said, on Monday and Tuesday, not paying attention. I was watching a football game and not really paying attention. I just start the wheel with my feet and I was noticing that the plies seemed to be kinking up in my fingers. Like, I all of a sudden realized, I better look at this. I haven't looked at my... And do you know I was going the wrong way? Um, you know, I was playing the same way I had spun it. So I, I pulled it off and I pulled it off and I pulled it off. Oh my gosh, I had done so much. Um, till I finally got back to, I could tell, back to where I had switched. And, uh, we ran it through the right way. <laughs> I haven't done that for a long time. Certainly not intentionally.
Alrighty. I just turned the music off. I am going to say good night. Good night. <laughs> yes, I am getting sleepy. Do we want a porygon polygon? Let's go back there and look at it. Por porygon. Porygon? Oh no, I have that. I'm not interested. You guys, Kay, you're interested? I don't know who's still here. I won't close it if we're going to go for it. Kay is, says you're still here. Veggie says she's still here. Goodness. What's on the floor down here? I mean, I know it's fiber. Yep. Alright, doesn't look like anybody's interested. You all are probably tuned out, which is okay. So thanks for hanging out, everybody. Appreciate it. Been good talking to all of you. And I got a lot of spinning done. I'm really happy with that. Take care. See you whenever you all can stop by. And I'll be back on Saturday afternoon. So meanwhile, have a good rest of your week. Be safe. Talk to you later. Bye.